I decided it late last night, and I'm just running with it because Great. this is the position to be in. The eight and six teams mm -hmm. worrying about potentially losing their spot as this three-way tie for fourth place mm -hmm. is going on basically means that those top six slots are very tenuous. And, of course, Vitality, they're chilling. They don't care. They're pretty much locked for playoffs here. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be about securing that top seed because we know in playoffs, first mm -hmm. and second manage to get a bye. So we'll see what Misfits actually secure for the first pick of the day as we've uh, gone through the first phase of drafts. And uh, I was about to say one significant pick that's made it through. Mm -hmm. This band phase is that Zeri. That is the first lock-in for Misfits Premier. The response from Vitality is going to be interesting. The last time these two teams met, they had uh, the Karma yeah. and a Hecarim. I love this. Yeah, I was just thinking about it too. You could pair it up with the Jin if you want to in that bottom lane as well. Just because with this kind of composition, you are very much playing for this jungle and support. Yeah. When Skeens gets up there in terms of itemization, mm -hmm. the damage share is going to be something Ooh. unreal to be dealing with here. And you still, even though the Gwen is taken away from Shigendo, you got a lot of options for him in the top lane. If yeah. you want to go that Jin route for Jeskla. Yeah, and I think considering the options we've seen so far in top lane already, there's a lot more to be desired, right? If we if you want to go for the Galvis Sharp and just bring out and just bring out just just, just big boy Scion, Scion. Yeah. I'm a I'm all for it, dude. Hallbreaker Scion was the OG tech before everyone of the grandmother That's true. started building Hallbreaker. So I I don't mind seeing more tanks top side, but for speaking of tanks bot side though, might be well, the fun response to try to respond to this karma and Hecarim lane is that Nautilus. So Already locked in, and I was gonna say, last time they met, they brought their brother Ezreal, and this is a classic combination for Vitality. Right, last time they were on blue side, it played out a little differently, but they still had that option. You have this range bot lane, a lot of pressure against, especially the Nautilus, when we usually see things like the Lulu coming through here. Yeah. And part of the reason I think we saw the Yumi taken away. So, as a result, you have a good bot lane matchup here that Ezreal Karma that's gonna be able to outrange, outpoke, get you that priority on the bottom side of the map. And now it's about banning mid laners. We're seeing the Ari taken away. You mm -hmm. wanna deny some of these strong mid-jungle duos just because one you want to make sure you secure a priority pick for yourself and vitality b you don't want to yeah. allow tinks to be able to unlock himself and get aggressive in the early minutes of the game because hecarim really weak early on with the very vulnerable in his first and second clear that's something they want to take advantage of and you know what i was thinking a lot more about Ari pick i was listening i was listening to Ari otp oh, nightmare talk yeah. about it and uh you know he seems to think you know Ari is great Ari is good but uh Ari doesn't exactly fall into either side of the role, right? It's not exactly Control Mage, is not exactly an assassin. Yeah. Speaking of which, you know, I believe we should see one more Control Mage uh, band away for Misfits too. But with the Ari gone, won't really see much of her, but hopefully we see her next game. But for now, it's all speculation. Yeah, the Ori is definitely a good shout. Diplex is lights out on this pick. Incredible in team fights, and it's paired so well with that Hecarim being uh, yeah. thrown up there. So you do lose the team fight option. But ah. however, Shigenda being on the Gnar yet Great. again, especially because of, yeah, we might see that one come through. And with the Camille taken away, though, one of the biggest concerns is out of the picture here. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, rather, uh, Akali is definitely going to be an interesting one because yeah. in this game of dives that we're having here from Vitality B side, mm -hmm. you could look to disengage or you could look to do some diving of your own here with something like the Akali and the Xin Zhao. You don't have as much early game priority here if that really is mid lane Akali, but I am kind of expecting it to go top to play into the Gnar because you need something that can contest mid prior. You want to allow tanks to be aggressive in this early game because so far, you're not really going to have early prior top. You're not going to really have early prior bot. So right now, Skeens, he's feeling real good about himself. Oh, he's feeling fantastic. And Shayek and tanks getting aggressive last time was what, was what brought Misfits towards an advantage in the mid game going against Vitality last time they met in Nice. And uh, this might be the way to do it if they bring out the Corky in the response. I doubt it's going to be the Lux going into it. I imagine would be another some sort of control mage just so they have some eight, some more diversity of AP damage. Maybe I know that's not a hover, but a Cinder is very much Victor a maybe. solid option. Oh, Vex, Vex. really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the dive, look, one, you're gonna get the push. I mean, it's Corky. Almost everything is going to get the push into him oh, yeah. in the first five, six minutes of the game. And that's why I don't really like that pick there from Misfits. Yeah, sure. With uh, Corky, Zeri, and even the Akali later on into the game. Yeah, it's your gonna... game of the day. Let's see what both these teams have in store for us. All right. So you said a thing actually a second ago that I want to highlight just a little bit What's there. That? You talked about Vitality B and how they like to play things kind of slow, mm -hmm. kind of controlled. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, up until like last week, you are absolutely right. And I think we saw last week that they can actually play that more aggressive style. They actually are capable 
of showing us, uh, you know, more than one kill every 20 minutes, which is kind of what I'm hoping for in this game as True. well here. Yeah, you know, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, it'd be fantastic. Yeah. You know, it's like how we talk about the entire time for uh -huh. the evolution of teams to show us different sides, you know, yes. be able to Love it. help us to understand how they're mm -hmm. evolving mm -hmm. as a whole. Hopefully yes. scrims are going well. Keep going. Oh, yeah. And then uh, the coaching staff providing uh -huh. other support that uh, that now, not only that, that uh, the players are evolving, but so are your dynamics, your Almost trust, there. your camaraderie. Are you done? We're done? I, I, I'm done. Are you done? No, I, I wanted you to keep going. Okay, all right, fine. Okay. <laughs> I'll just... I'll keep it going by talking a little bit more of what we see in this early game. So uh -huh. for us, five point starts, both junglers uh, okay. starting off on exact sides with, interestingly enough, a board placed by both sides right above that, uh, right above the Raptors pit. You, you, kind of what you expect with how aggressive tanks might be, and it's actually partly you can already see it expiring there. Oh, no. It was placed very early by Skeens, most likely just to make sure the early invade didn't go through unnoticed, if at all. But instead, as you say, it just ends up being more of that five point. Nobody really does a whole lot just yet here in terms of aggressive jungle play. You're just seeing the full clears come through between both of these jungles. Again, Skeens, very happy camper because already you're seeing the result of this draft going through. Pryo mid, Pryo top, and Pryo bot. This is a happy horsey. You might as well be called Vitality P because because the P has a priority, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all you got going on right now. But I was going to mention to you because since it's 12.4, this is the patch of all the Zeri nerfs as well, right? You know, just just a Triforce oh, yeah, build. Yeah, that's that, true. Yeah, isn't exactly as viable. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you're looking at much more balance. You're one want to build a actual ADC items, right? Yeah, isn't that Speaking cool? Speaking of crit, Saya has actually been uh, offered on this pack. Ms. Rise, we haven't seen her at all today, mm -hmm. personally. But, you know, I, I, find the, I find the Lover's Duo could definitely come back into priority. But uh, that's just me hoping for more exciting, engaged gameplay, but Zaya can offer that sometimes. For now, this, things are neither exciting nor engaged in the <laughs> farm. Right, I mean, to be fair, even though I was talking about hoping to see a, a, a bit of a speedier game, Vitality B, this is how you want to play this one out. Skeen doesn't sure. need to do anything right now. It's just going to be about his laners playing safe, warding mm -hmm. defensively, and even offensively, as you can see, Jeskal and Jack Pearl have warded that bottom try brush, giving Skeens the angle to just go ahead and take that first scuttle crab. But because of the ward Shigendo placed in the top river, not only will he see things coming from a mile away, he's also going to allow Skeens to be like, hey, you know what, maybe I can double crab. Ignite is down, by the way, I was going to say, if Willet actually didn't literally stand Bodyguard for his support, uh, that means that Vanderbilt definitely dies. Now Willet as well has to back away as Skeens is here. Yep. And Tinks knows that they can't contest against this, so immediate brought priority. Vitality P continue right. to uh, push their lead, and Jeskla continues to get this free lane uh, for himself, which is last time this happened, you know, about 25 minutes, he had three items. Definitely, if you're a Misfits fan, you don't want that happening yeah. again. Yeah, but if you're a Vitality fan, for one thing, you're already happy. Jeskla is getting the Ezreal. Oh, Dude is nuts on the pick. That's right. And you can already see it coming through. Skeens, of course, has the Tier 2 boots rushed right away. That mm -hmm. plus the E coming through, he's going to be able to very quickly get to that top scuttle here. But you're seeing it. You want, Tinks wants to get something here outside of his jungle. The problem is he has to respect the fact that his links don't really have a lot of priority right now. Although Irrelevant getting the better end of some of these trades is uh, actually a pretty big deal here. Once you get to level 6, there will be a bit of a kill threat. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Sagenda is uh, pretty far up in terms of the lane, and if Relevant keeps landing more and more of these Qs, that does mean that he loses out on mm -hmm. those, uh, on just any poke, because not until that W doesn't hit level 2, yeah. means you're not getting just means you're not getting just, uh, just extra damage, and having no resistances, and Mininar is a very, very squishy boy, so we'll need some MR if you want to try to trade evenly and by level 8 as well when he can level 2 on the W. Yeah, and right now, he's going to be able to recall TP back to lane with the Fade, so a little bit of health, a little bit of AD, yeah. which is going to help with the uh, trading that's been going on. But I think for the most part, even though he is forced out a little bit early, Irrelevant probably has to TP back to lane 2, so that's just going to go ahead and be that. And mm -hmm. the priority Shigenda has been able to got, it's kind of done its job. Skeens has already done his first clear. He's about to do his second. It will be level six very shortly. Yep. And this is what I'm talking about. The most vulnerable parts of time are champs like Hecarim, who want to power farm in the earlier parts of the game, is about to expire. And he's going to immediately after that point become a serious problem. He's going to be the most prized horse to get the derby. That's right. It's the one that you want to put all your money on. Like, put my money on number six. He seems to have <laughs> extra strong legs today. 
the ghost still very much available for himself. There you go, level 5 hit, almost at 6, as Vaughn is now just pushing in. It's a nice stack wave, but Tinks is here early. Jack trolls under a lot of duress. It should definitely be dead, exactly taking him down. That is first blood going over to Tinks. Skeens are a little bit too late. It's 2v3, but he can't find a way in. Right, he came through. Instead of doing the Gromp when he saw that his bot lane was under threat. Oh, okay, no. good respect from Jeskala. Realizes he's not going to be able to dodge. So he is forced out, punished a bit for stepping forward, and is going to be able to flash out. This is what I was want to see from Misfits at this point, too. Because, mm -hmm. again, Tinks can't do anything like invade like a Xin Zhao probably wants to in this matchup. He's just going to have to go and try to catch people. Because, again, all that priority does mean you are a little susceptible to some of these ganks here. So getting a kill on the Tinks is a big deal. That assist gold onto Wu Light certainly helps. Problem is now, again, because of all this priority, Vitality B, you're going to have an easy time picking up this Dragon, an easy time going ahead for this Bont Dive if they really want to. But it's looking like Dragon is the play. Yeah, it should be, as you said. Start it up from the sub. This should, this should get fun to give Skeens a level stakes as well. But because of the little bit of slowdown, this now gives an opportunity for Tanks to match him in levels at least, which is quite big. We were highlighting that matchup a lot within Draft, you know, thinking that Tanks would be a behind very early on, looking at the potential for early dies, but with that not coming through, both tanks and skeins have uh, managed to just farm away happily and healthily, as there's a 6 for skeins, so hoping for, you know, just uh, any potential 2v1 plays as uh, the lanes get pushed in, Sagenda will have to rush back to this lane because he'll look to be losing a, lo losing a potentially one way off of this, but that's if irrelevant and actually pushes it. And I don't think he will. He'll probably just hold the lane right there. So the recall is smart from Chigenda. As soon as the dragon indicator shows, he knows, rather everybody knows, that Skeens was on the bottom side of the map there. And that means he was susceptible to a dive. Now he's going to be able to come back. Even though he loses a bit, he's still leading in terms of CS. And he's back to lane, spending a little bit more of that gold. It means Diplex and Skeens can actually go for this Herald if they really want to. Skeens is yeah. already level 6. And unless this Herald is finished quickly, he's in trouble. And it started up like you think it should be fine, but the try no, moving up and with the relevant marrying him too, he's you know, not really under much threat since the agenda knows that he has to come and catch this wave as well. Try to farm up as much as possible to be the big hullbreaker boy that the Nar can be. Now enjoy it, buddy. You have one more patch on this. <laughs> Things get a little bit rougher for you and for Graves' matches as well. So for now, you know, nothing super extravagant, misfits. Off with the early lead yet again, but a Vitality prioritizing. Much more neutral objectives, but this referral should be quite nice for them to even the score, get some plates back in their pocket, hopefully in a Chayak. And it's good for them, they've been able to at least get this. It will allow them to make a play and try to get some early plate gold here. Being able to show up bottom again mm -hmm. would be a good choice for them, just because of the fact that Tinks 1 already found some success there, and 2, this mm -hmm. bot lane is squishy. Jeskala and Jack Troll still do not have Flash. But instead, Vitality B want to beat them to the punch here. They're the ones rotating so many of their members to this bottom side of the map here. And instead, you know, I believe they were caught on vision. Unfortunately, they're, they're, they were not able to clear all the wards, and so... Skeens and Diplex aside to move away, they'll instead look towards mid, but Chayek is already playing so far back they can't find oh, anything at all. They know. Yeah, they see things. Yeah, they know They know he's there. And uh, Skeens, honestly, all he has to do is just hover, put through the interference to make sure not a whole lot can come through here. Chayek, does he have the package available? Because he's recalling now without teleport. I think he is hanging back here. I think that's the only way that Herald gets dropped there around that side of the map. And yeah, he does pick it up. Yeah, it was up in just a little bit more considering that delay, right? It's, uh, yeah. it's six minutes from spawn, right? So it did take, take a bit more time. But like you're saying, with it not being up, it will not be up in time for Dragon though. But I think he just wants that more so just for priority in, in the mid lane, just to make sure he can stop Deflex in more. So that way, if he is roaming down bot side, you know, he's losing something off of it at least. Right, so far he hasn't lost a single thing for it here. In fact, Diplex is ahead in CS by a little bit. And it's been allowing yeah. him to, one, the fact that he knows he has it in this matchup, he can go for the Ignite. And also, means he's been able to have a lot of impact on this bottom side. And now speaking of <laughs> which, yeah, Misfits, they, they want to make the Herald play bot, but the angle just doesn't feel like it's there. Chayek might make a dive with this package, but this doesn't look so great with Diplex and Skeens in the area. Yeah, there is no wave there at all, so you're potentially sacrificing a one-for-one for, one for a couple of plates, and 
like you were saying, not worth it because allowing Vitality B to get even is uh, is how Miss Fist did lose out last time, and they will not allow that to happen again. They want to make sure they maintain leads at any point that they can. I was gonna say, you know, Bita, we, we were talking a lot about plates, and what I love is that for different accents, uh, Atlas, especially over in the LCK, uh, he calls it uh, crockering because it's what? like, yeah, because it's like because like it's like saying plates and like you know pl spoons and forks. Uh, uh, within like Australia and uh, UK, that's another way to say uh, cutlery, crockery. So you could say calling plates, you could say gathering crockery, you could say like you know accumulating silverware. I don't, I don't want to do that. Setting a dinner table? No. No, I, I do. I, I'm fine with setting the dinner table because that means food. But all the other ones, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I might, I might have to have a talk with Atlas later on because <laughs> obviously, definitely he and I are cool. We can just have those conversations. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, you obviously. and Atlas are best friends. Hey, do you, yeah. do you mind? Uh, 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 introducing him to me someday, yeah? Of course, buddy. I got you. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, sure. I believe uh, Sagenda also does this as well. With the Mechanar running out, irrelevant. Able to pop into strat, be okay. And now he Looking knows at. he will definitely be out of safety. And uh, he's at Jack Troll and Skeen. Throw him up. Vitality B, they just know. They're on the. They're so on the ball, and it's something we talk about them week after week. They know what Tinks wants to do, and I mean, it is a little telegraphed with this Herald. You know, you have pushed top, so of course, that's what you want to be going for here. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and match and make sure you can't dive Shigenda. So instead, it's going to be drop mid. No threat of anything other than the two standard plates going down for this Rift Herald plate. Not as much as Misfits would have wanted, but it is something to get them some kind of incremental lead here, because the big thing is, even though Tinks wants to be active early and make more happen than what has happened mm -hmm. in the early game, at the very least, you still have tools that are going to scale pretty well when you think about things like Irrelevant on the Akali, when you think about the Corky being able to do a lot of poke. The problem is, though, Vitality B, their all-in is filthy. So closing the distance, especially with that Mantra E from Jack Troll, yeah. is a big thing for them. Ooh, that's actually a big cooldown. Down, that yeah. means that Skeen's up. Will not be able to contest this dragon any longer, so Misfits will continue to trade. Vitality B making a safer play once again, giving away just a little bit for not much loss in return. It's only a cloud drag. But Bita, we were talking about in draft about how you know we wanted to see Vitality B be uh, a bit more active right in the early game. We want to see them make the more of these plays. And uh, you, you were mentioned, you know, hey, uh, it does before previously. They've yeah. actually got gotten active. Um, you know, if this were the song Let's Get Physical, uh, not everybody would be lifting any weights at all. We'd all be standing no. around and watching the screen. That's right. Maybe would have done one lift because, you know, one kill. Maybe just one. Yeah. yeah. But uh, clearly not a workout in any capacity. And I mean, I was talking about it earlier, too. Vitality B, they're fine with that because they want to farm. They want skeins to get to that turbo. Chem tank really mm. start to get this itemization coming through. They're in a position now where, and you can see it, they're trying to look for angles. They haven't always panned out the way they want to, yeah. but they've been playing very defensively. So I think it's fair to say that they've been active, which is not in the way that secures you kills because they are moving across the map, threatening these bot dives, threatening these bot plays with Diplex's priority and covering the top dives. Because I think twice now, they, Tinks wanted to make a play onto Shigenda on the top side and was denied by Vitality B. So Misfits still wanting to try and push the pace here. It just feels like they don't have any ways in. Vitality B, or just they, they're just all over it. Indeed, my friend. If this were a sandwich, Misfits would be the ingredients, and Vitality B would be the bread. You know why, Vita? Why? Because they're stuffing them. Ah, <laughs> I like that. You're welcome. Yeah, it's uh, at every which moment, they seem to know their every move and deciding, well, no, this can't happen. Let's close that calzone. And uh, we'll not be able to get out of this uh, uh, resumed area, once again. You gotta stop with the food puns, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. So, I'm so hungry. <laughs> you can't do this to me. Uh, sorry, man, but uh, what I'm not Whoa. sorry for is uh, Vitality B getting active. I'm sorry. Finally, there we go. That's one kill. Jungle given over. A big knockup given over by Vander, but Misfits have to chase this down. Jack taking a bunch of damage. He sees life. He gets the health back. Mantra W, baby. So, so underrated. good. And uh, Sagenda is still staying in vision. Uh, he does not have Mega Net, Mega yet, I should say, but oh, wait and a will not get it. Uh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, really nice and clean from Irrelevant, to be honest, punishing Shigenda. Ultimately, you were happy for that one-for-one -one trade. Yeah. You did manage to take Tinks out, who was going in a little too deep, trying to make the play, but you end up going one-for-one one here. And as things slow back down, no one's gone for the Rift Herald just yet. I think Vitality B are going to let that one go. We're two minutes from 
this next dragon. Mm -hmm. And I think with Vitality taking the first one, they're not as console, uh, concerned, rather, yeah. with the Soul Wincon, although it is Ocean Soul, so it's maybe something to consider here. But when we, before that, we're going to take a look at this replay yet again. This is Ooh. Tinks on the Xin Zhao thinking, all right, Jack Troll's by himself. i got to take down this squishy support. The problem is so many people were with him. And I think the only real problem in that fight is Tinks dies too quickly for that Shadow Search to come through. No resets yeah. come out, so Diplex isn't able to have as much impact as you hope the Vex to have. And you were hoping that, you know, uh, like you were saying, if, if the Shadow Search does come out, it could have been a much more explosive fight. Sure. But and maybe Sagenda might have got the opportunity to become Mega, but Overstay is welcome, still in Vision, yeah. and dies for it. Realistically, this should have been a one for nothing. Yeah. But by the end of it, you know, Misfits, these are the kind of proactive plays that they need to do, or responses at least, mm -hmm. if they are to get out of the uh, ever so faded danger zone that you've been yes. claiming the entire day. And I find Misfits are a team that are at the exact precipice yeah. of which. Yeah, now, I mean, unless Chayek's got to move up here and help secure this back end. Actually, it looks like Vitality B don't even care about it. They're not going to go ahead and do anything with the Herald, which is kind of unfortunate because then you picked up this package, again, used for not a whole lot of anything else other than Wave Clear. That means you won't have that available to you in the uh, when the next Dragon spawns. At least they have Herald. So what you usually want to do here, you can drop it mid lane, especially with the mid tier being low. But wait a second. All right, he goes in, knocks back the support. But there we go, Woolai pops his ultimate. Jack Trolls in Zubbo. Woolai, he's, he's running him down. Dead. That's Jessica Woolai with a 2K. He and wants skins. more. He might get three, not in range. It's Jenda is mega. So no more will be had. But Midfits, yet again, a beautifully proactive play. Vitality B, you're not focusing the right targets here. You have to be taking down the Zeri. Chayek is very mobile. Even with that Val even without that package, the Valkyrie makes it harder to get on top of him. And if you're gonna yeah. use that onslaught of shadows, it's gotta fear someone like Wu Light. Because Wu Light is the one who's gonna be able to kite and take uh, win these fights out for the team. Now he's two and zero oh, because once you pop that ultimate, that extra move speed you get makes it so hard to stay on top of him. So you gotta use the CC that you have here and Misfit. They're real happy with that fight because you should, after resetting, be able to go and try and make a play for the dragon. But ultimately, the big thing here is that you're continuing to further this gold lead, and it's on your Zeri. And we're we're looking a lot at the Misfits roster, you know, based around a couple of rookies and the experienced yeah. voices of Woolite, who've not been able to show up in a fantastic way. Woolite, we've been claiming a lot for the best ADCs in the league, and it just looked better and better as weeks have gone on. All right, it really shows in team fights like those. Right now, Vitality B in a bit of trouble. They want to, sh they want to do this Herald, or rather the Dragon, but they're actually going to back off. They oh, but the TP is coming through from Shigenda. Maybe we have the 50-50 scheme. Oh, but he just slot Mega, so he won't be able to do much. They want to chase this down. Shadow Surge lands onto one. Vander should be That's dead. One. There we go. That's the pick, but look at Tinks. He's 2v1. And on the back end, a Relevant lockdown. He wouldn't buy him, so the perfect execution will not be enough to get the auto. As Tinks has to run away as well. Because the guard is down. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Now it's up back again. They find the second. He pushes them away, but he just does not do enough damage. And there, that's the big difference from that replay we were covering earlier. Diplex, when he starts to reset, is able to have that impact there. And Woolite has to get out of dodge. Loses so many teammates here. Irrelevant TPing into the middle of the team. Yep. Gets locked down and is not able to contribute. So just like that, Vitality B catch up in terms of gold. Now it's a negligible deficit. And it's actually going to continue in Vitality's favor because people off the map means you're losing gold in XP with these waves. And Skeens is stealing jungle camps away from Tinks, who fell in that fight. Dude, if Vitality lose this, I'm thinking, like, uh, I know we've been saying a lot mm -hmm. how every game matters, but for the top six spots, they realistically might be decided by just one loss. They can, yeah. Yeah, which, uh, with, 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 with how it's shaping up to be. So, let's say Misfits win this, and then they they perhaps lose to Carmel later on, or Carmel loses to Misfits, then that could potentially cost them a playoff spot if other team manages to go undefeated, but it's all speculation. And it makes him so much more excited yeah. for the next week. Dude, it's so, everything's so competitive right now in this league. Even though the top two seem pretty solid, you still yeah. have teams like Misfits, like Game Ward, Gamers Origin, Solary, and BDSA, who are all fighting tooth and nail for that last spot and, and really can't Oplon. predict it. And <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> Shigenda, he's farming. That's cool. 
Isn't that cool? Let's talk about that. <laughs> Just like, you were like, cool, topic change. Well, yeah. <laughs> And you know what? It worked out. Thank Farming you. is very cool. I thought so too. I enjoy um, it. Very unless cool. you're unless you're Xin Zhao and you have gankable lades before six minutes, then farming oh, yeah. is not cool. No, it is not not cool at all. You hear that, kids? Farming is not cool. Never farm in your games. That's right. Especially if you're Xin Zhao. Gank always. Farm champions, in fact. Exactly. That's what I keep telling people. The CS that matters, it's champion score, not creep score. So would you nope. say that you're a KD player that beat that? No. I, I, I'm, I'm not a carry player. I'm, I'm the supportive guy, man. I'll play support. Uh, if I play for KD as support, you're actually inting. <laughs> Never see you in on that. But up, uh, another person might be looking to upgrade the KD is irrelevant here. Shijanda takes about half his health down by just a couple of autos and the second proc of the brick execution could have done it. But Askeens just has to simply watch his jungle being taken away. As Baron is live, but Dragon is most definitely the next target for both of these teams. Now Misfits, this will be their soul point. A powerful soul it will be, so why Vitality B have to be very careful about this one. That's why you see them still focusing on the mid and bottom side of the map. They have top wave at a good enough position. It's going to continue slow stacking. That's why you're seeing pings come through from Misfits. Mm. Means that Shay should be able to get mid prio here, be able to set up some of this deep vision, and they should get a good position on this dragon here. There will likely be a fight unless they get a pick off. And I do have to stress, Vitality B, they have to play for using their CC on Wulite. This Zeri is too mobile and is already in a good point when it comes to damage to be able to just let run ramp it. Ramp it. And like you're saying, Zeri has to be the target for Vitality B if they are to shut down all the options for Misfits. You gotta do something. Anything at all. Because uh, I find Misfits have been the team that have taken the most proactive place to playing Zeri in the most interesting way. If you remember too, what they used to do in the previous games was when they had Zeri, they used to set up a, I believe, a three minute dive uh, in the middle lane too. And then uh, yeah, managed, to right. give, managed to give Wool Light first blood uh, mm -hmm. twice they managed to do that play, in fact. Yeah. Uh, the first time there was one for nothing, second time it was one for one, but still, you know, they knew they had to get the Zeri head, and Zeri is exactly that. Two and two, two items. Wow. All the teams across the board. That's actually a pretty big deal. Big spike for Zeri with that Titanic Hydra coming through. Even though the changes have come through, it's not necessarily that this build is worse, it's that crit build has become better. Yeah. So this is still almost as strong as it was before this patch. And you'll honestly see if the opportunity comes through, Wulite will do a lot of damage. Chayek has the package also crucially. First time for a dragon fight, which is a big deal. He's not going to be using it on the wave. And that makes this a little tougher for Misfits, who uh, really need this dragon. Agenda is a lock in. Oh, God, I'm oh they say. forced it. Yeah, he, he might have been locked inside just that Baron pit, but you're saying they force it there. Sort of on the backup, he does have TP, but he needs to back right now and should be back in time. But they know this is happening, so Misfits can't burn himself to Dragon. Still, if Chigenda can TP in time, it's winnable. Blue Light used the ultimate, it's not available. You can't let this go of your Vitality B. Shadow Stretch goes down right onto one to get the, get the locks out on, onto Blue Light, but the question is they can't burst him down. It's not enough damage on Diplex. The flash is There's down. The fear. It's already gone. Like you said, they finally managed to get one, but it's on the side of Vitality B. And now wow. here comes Sajenda. I mean, irrelevant, because Sajenda is nowhere to be seen, unfortunately. He has to get out of the fight. So, TP, fortunately, not going to be put to use. And that's three down and soul for Misfits. And so much of that is because Skeens was forced to use the Ghost earlier. He's trying, trying, trying to find an angle to use that Onslaught of Shadows on Wu Lei. But even without the ult, he still has the Flash. Is able to avoid a lot of the damage here. Big team fight coming through from Wu Lei and this Misfits Premier Squad. And three members down means it's Baron time. It's just tough for them. And now Misfits firmly taking the lead over Vitality B. With Woolite not going down, his flash is down. So it is quite nice, but I was bearing on the board. They're gonna love to control the, they're gonna love to control both the bot and top lane. So Jen is gonna try to push as much as he can, but we're able to find much off of it, just a tower per se. But even in such as you look at the replay. And already at this point too, you see Shigenda TPing back in, but Jeskla, he wasn't in a good spot to follow up Diplex. The thing with Vex is that she's good as follow-up engage. You need the Hecarim to start going through there as well, so you can start to threaten Wulite. But instead, he's still alive and healthy. Chayek is going big in this fight with all the itemization. 
and it's an easy fight to win. Yeah, speaking of fights uh, uh, to win, uh, Misfits have uh, immediately disengaged from theirs. They've given over to yours Vitality B. I promise you this is not a replay, this is live. So we are fine on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and you can see it with this Baron buff. You're gonna have Shigenda, or rather, uh, Irrelevant in the side lane. Doing just fine there with that Baron buff. They're gonna affect two lanes at once here and just start to threaten these tier two turrets. Seems like all five of Vitality B want to focus on the mid lane. And uh, they're looking for their angle to go in. They got a lot of ults to play for right now. The big two of the Onslaught of Shadows and the Shadow Surge is what I'm looking for. Indeed. Like you're saying, Shadow Surge is crucial at this point. But now, 26 minutes in, with the Siege, with the 401, the Skeens on the other side, trying to find an angle in onto anybody at all. But Vitality B are doing a good job of wave clearing the mid. Still have to be aware of Irrelevant. He can if he pushes him in by himself. Zenda is wearing them off. But I'm going to just force this as Skeens still has the angle. They don't know he's there. That's the big deal. He's got to get on Woolite. They get the Shadow Surge onto him, but he manages to get away. Immediately, Woolite's still alive. Takes a bunch of damage, though. He's, he's, eyes, he's out of there, but as an R in the wall, Irrelevant oh, will get definitely him. die. Big... He can't hop over either. That's a beautiful pick, and now Misfits know they have to run away. Yeah, one last Q from the Meganar is going to slow down tanks. He's going to have to flash over this wall. As Shigenda, he's not done with him yet. No, he wants to keep going, and tanks knows he can't get out of this alive. So he will die trying to make his final stand. Nothing being done there. And Vitality D, they're just rushing them down. So Jenna is almost mega as they get three picks. So almost what? faded over. Okay, he nearly lived. Not a good champ. Oh my god, that that mystic shot was inches. It just skinned Wu Light's backside. And no he's lo Jessica is looking for the true shot barrage. Mm. He's not going to find it though. That is still a very positive fight there for, for Vitality B. They get three for the price of one in a really big team fight. They slow the Baron play. They're able to kind of slow the game down for just a little bit. And that's kind of an example of how this team comp is realistically working here. Skeens, Diplex, and Shigenda, all very big team fighting ultimates that need to work in concert for Vitality B to come out on top. For now though, like, Misfits losing that does not bode well for themselves. Considering if they manage to push into us to both those inhibs, then that next soul would have rightfully been theirs. And having Ocean Soul in your back pocket right now, especially if you are Woolite, does mean that you are extremely strong and manage yeah. to survive all the potential bursts that can come your way. Unfortunately, so, should be a 5v5, 5v5, as we were talking about before here at Beat Town. They're definitely in favor of Vitality B. Yeah, it's going to be tough, though. Chayek should have the package in time for this dragon fight. He even has TP. He wants to back last second and pick it up here. Vitality B, their angles are starting to close as they need to make something happen very, very shortly because they have the all-in potential. They know Irrelevant is coming from this bottom side of the map, so maybe they're going to try to look for him. Either way, you can't let this dragon go through. Vitality B, they lose the Ocean Soul, good team fight or not. That's probably the game. 10 seconds remain as like you mentioned package is there for yep. Chayette all five of misfits are here but so are Vitality B denying the ocean soul he's potentially winning the game for misfits or extending it for the five minutes for Vitality they're living on the other side waiting this one is tough Skeens, he spotted out 50-50 is very dangerous. This could be game losing. Shigenda, he's mega. He spots Skeens, he's not there. Everyone's holding him off. That's a massive package to the middle of the entire the fight. The damage. Ball of Vitality are getting burned down, but Chayette dies. But so does Shigenda. That's a one for one, but in the favor of Misfits. Skeens not be able to be there. They give up the soul. All of Vitality are far too low. Misfits, Ocean Soul, wow. And that's it, they get one of the strongest buffs in this game. Constant healing over time when you are missing health. And you can see it, this is already at, it's already coming, showing on their health bars as they're starting to recover them here. Vitality B now in a very difficult scenario and all they have to rely on is that burst damage that they have to offer. But these extended yeah. trades, I mean, they never favored them to begin with, but they're gonna be even more punishing now. And we knew how tough it was going to be. 
And if I have Vitality made the right call there too, just to back off, considering they already lost one of the big frontliners and skeins was being held off by Irrelevant. And with the potential of death there too, that means that you give away the Baron potentially too, off of that play. And if all five of them die, that means the game is over. And Vitality still very much want to play. No flash. But Tinks might not be able to. The Crescent Guard put out. Well, that is there for the support. But him being here the boats not positively for Misfits He's because Tinks stay alive for so long. Ocean Soul is so good. Now, will I not to pop off? Not on the wall. So he just stays alive. Shashers lands onto him. But out of the Dippers wants to go on this. As he flashes over. There you go. Now he goes in. He's not dead. Will it alive? Hops over it's the wall. Back. Diplex will most likely die. There we go. A triple kill for Irrelevant. Make that a quadra. And that's probably the game here. We're looking at 40 second spawn timers and Misfits, though the early game was not kind to them. Man, it's a team fight their way to this game state we find ourselves in here. I think, I think it's over. Yeah, it's close. I would, I'd say so. No, I mean, uh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, never mind, it's, it's over. It's yeah, definitely it's, over. Uh, it's definitely uh, over. Skeens is uh, away about five seconds away, right? Uh, Things can't see it's about two seconds. He doesn't seconds, even have but ultimate. Like you're saying, it doesn't really matter. Uh, he doesn't have ghosts either. Uh, he'll just have the best seats in the house to watch his uh, <laughs> uh, his base dissipate uh, right before his very eyes. Uh, oh, whoosh, disappear. <laughs> That's right, two towers gone, game done, and Misfits take their first step in exiting the danger zone. Indeed, and it all starts like this. You're